walking up to Home Depot. This is not my favorite store, so um, this video may not be as exciting in my tone. All right, Design Center. When I saw that, I was like, hmm, what am I gonna use for this project? You go to the tile aisle. Yes, floor tile. I know it may seem weird, like why would you use a floor tile for a serving tray? Why not? The only issue I had was I didn't want the long rectangular tile like this one right here. I didn't want that one. I wanted something rectangle but shorter or even square and shorter, but I didn't want the regular 12 by 12 tile for my floor. So it's hard looking at your Home Depot. I would suggest you go to Floor & Decor. I'm sure they will have many more options that you can choose from as far as the tile is concerned. But Floor & Decor is, you know, about 20 minutes away and I just wanted something real quick and real easy. Really pretty tiles, but it just wasn't the shape or the size that I wanted and that one was more expensive. The tile that I got might have been like 150 maybe. All right, glue selection. There are many type of glues that you can use for this project, but I like the Gorilla Glue, like the epoxy glue. It's $5, but all you need is a little bit, so. Hardware. We are going to be using drawer handles. Yes, like cabinet drawer handles. There's a lot of selection here, but they just seem boring to me. So if you really want to make your project exquisite or unique, I would suggest that you buy some of the um, handles from Amazon. Amazon has some really, really cute ones. So I'm just looking around, looking at all the door handles, and I'm like, I don't know. My first choice were black because this tile is white, and I have a lot of black and white in my house. So I was like, why not? Why not use black? So I went to the black section. Oh, before that, I saw the towel right here that I used for um, another project that I did. And I really, really love that handle. But not for this project. This project, I decided to just do, well, you'll see what color I chose. I thought I was going to do black, and I should have just went with black. But I couldn't find one that spoke to me and I was in this section for a good minute. Some of these handles are very expensive too. So keep that in mind if you decide to do this project. And when I saw the black and white together, I should have got that one. But you live and you learn. This is the one that I chose. <laughs> On to the project. I measured out the length of this side, and it's 10 inches long. So you want to mark off your halfway point, which is 5 inches. And I just use this painter's tape because it's easy to um, take off when my project is done. All right, now I measure the handle, and this handle is four inches long. I'm going to try and show y'all how long it is. And then I just mark off the halfway point of that. So this is four inches, halfway point is two inches. Y'all, I was struggling with this, let me tell you. I don't even know why, like I didn't even have to struggle. My hands, yeah, maybe it was just too early, I don't know. And then after you got uh, your measurements, you line up the two halfway points. Sounds easy enough, right? And then I measured from the end of the tile to the um, handle of the to the bottom of the handle, should I say. Once my measurements are accurate and correct, I just use the painter's tape to mark off my sections. To me, this is a very important part because 
um, later on when the glue comes in you don't want to have to uh, figure it out I didn't want to put any marks on the tile just to figure out where my um, points will be so once that's done you move on to the next side exact same thing on this side as well let's just watch it together It's my foot on this chair. I don't get no comfort. You see how much I'm struggling? This was like a real struggle. Well, we can get it together. I should have added some music, but they keep flagging all my videos with music. So. All right, here comes the fun part, the epoxy. So if you buy it in the pack, it comes with like a little stirring stick and a tray that you mix them both in. Now, um, since I'm only using a little bit, I have to find something that I can mix this epoxy together in because it's two separate sides. Um, you do not want to use plastic for this because it will burn it. Trust me, we tried it um, the last time and I just put it on a plastic plate and it, the plate was like smoking. I was like, mm-mm. So I just got a wooden stick and a little piece of cardboard you have to um, your measurements have to be almost exact right they're supposed to be exact but I couldn't get one side to come out I don't know if it was just dried up too much they ain't even supposed to be speeding on that street anyway so yeah one side the yellow side wouldn't come out I was getting too much white so um, try your best to get the even amount and then you stir it up I got a little bit on my tray if you get a little bit anywhere wipe it up immediately because um, you will not be able to get it off later make sure you mix it very very well and you have to move fast with this because it dries really quick I mean in like minutes You don't need a whole lot, you just need enough to make it stick. Now once it comes in contact, once it comes in contact with the um, tray, you have a little while to maneuver it if need be. And you'll see me do that a little bit later too. See why the uh, tape is important? Yeah. Then it's, it's easy. It's easy peasy. Alright. Then you just discard of your um, epoxy. And I take the tape off because I don't want any glue getting on that tape. And then me having a really hard time trying to get that tape off. So... As soon as you get your handles down, move your tape. You can go back. If you can tell, it moves a little bit. So if you have to adjust it a little bit, you can do that at this time. Perfectionist, right? I want all of my handles to be perfect.
All right, now that everything is good, I use just plastic wrap to wrap up the um, glue, the access glue that I'm not gonna use at this point. And then it came with that little thing in the middle. I'll show you, I'll show you a close up. I don't know what that's for. I guess it's to stop the um, glue from coming out. You don't really need it because it don't really work. <laughs> the extra screws, you can put them up. Maybe you'll need them later or discard them. So these were the stoppers that I was saying we should have put on first. But now I have to wait 20 minutes for it to completely dry before I try and do anything to it. All right, here we are. It's dry. I'm still going to be real gentle with it because, you know, I'm. it wasn't hard work, but it was enough to where I don't want to mess it up. You just put those underneath. underneath in a way to where you can't see them like you don't want to see them when you're looking down at the tray but you need these on because you don't want that it's glass right so you don't want to slam it down and then break it that's money girl you don't want to spend all your money on that let me tell you these little things hard to get off too girl See that? Isn't that cute? It'll even out once I get all four on there. That's my son. He thinks I'm being cuckoo and talking to myself. <laughs> all right, here's the last one. Now we got them all on. And that is the end of the project. If you do it, please let me know down in the description. I will post this on um, Insta as well to let y'all know that it's on YouTube. And um, yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you all for watching. I've really enjoyed this project. Don't forget to like and subscribe.